Time Wasters. This is Corinne Connerino, a.k.a. Suburban Time Waster. Back in Disney Dreamlight Valley, trying to trying to catch up on some things for the stream tomorrow on Twitch and the stream, stream Thursday on YouTube. And to catch up, I'm going to talk to Rapunzel. Ah, 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 ah. Choo! Can zoom tight? Ugh, I'm sorry, Corinne. I got really close to one of those big flytrap plants, and it let out a big cloud of pollen right in my face. Wow, that stinks. Ugh. I've been sneezing ever since, and my throat is all scratchy. Hmm. I'm sure I'll be fine soon. Did you need something? Is there anything I can help you with? I'm on the trail of this special treasure called the Spark of Imagination. But to find it, I need to solve this special puzzle involving musical notes. It seems like we'll need to know the right notes, and we'll need some... Body to sing them. Uh, oh no, if that's why you're here, I don't think I can help anytime hmm. soon. With my throat this scratchy, I haven't been able to sing a note all day. Oh, I guess I could ask someone else to help with that part. But I really want to help you after all the ways you've helped me. Ah, 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 chew! If only I had the tea or the soup that mother used to make me. Oh. You see, whenever I had a sore throat, she made them. And after a few sip, just a few sips, I could sink again. Maybe I can make you some. <laughs> do you think you could do it? I make them myself, but Mother had special recipes that she wouldn't share with me. I really don't want to ask Mother for help, not after I've come such a long way. I just know she'll ask me to sing for her in return. Your mother left some stuff in your tower. Could it be up there? You know, you might be right. Achoo! Ugh, she left a bunch of things there. <gasps> But I haven't looked oh, through any of it yet. <laughs> I've been too busy exploring the aisle. No problem. I'll go search your tower and see what I can find. Bye. All right. Okay, I can't talk with Elsa and Ariel yet because I gotta. Because those. Or Belle. Because those. Oh, wait a minute. I can talk to Belle. All right, Eve, one ancient processor for you. Think this will be enough to communicate with that ancient computer thing down in the ruins? Hmm. Classified. It doesn't seem like it fits right. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Maybe if I could craft some sort of universal adapter to hook the processor into your systems. Ooh. Directive. I guess that means I'll need to learn a little more about how you work. Maybe I can start by taking pictures inside your house. Well, I need to go to E's house for another quest anyway. Everything the light touches is part of this new place. Ooh. Well, I need to check Remy's DoorDash quest real quick. Oh, the only one I can talk to is Elsa. The two other meals are for two other people. And I gotta bring ingredients to Mike. Perhaps we could do something together. Here you go, Elsa. Hello. Oh, what's this? It looks delicious. An icy treat just for you. It's a little free sample. Remy's opening up a delivery service in the village. He wants everyone to know about it. You can get a little taste of Arendelle whenever you like. That would be wonderful. Yes. Thank you, Corinne. I'll be sure to tell Anna and Kristoff. That was fun. All right, that's one thing fixed. Ah, Mike disappeared on me. Doesn't matter, I gotta pick up some things for Scar anyway. And I gotta collect that dream light. Oh, I didn't get... 
Oh, I got missed. That's even better. Hey, Jack. Got some things for you. Why, hello. Holiday treat for Vanellope. Here you go, Jack. Here you go, Jack. One candy skull, as promised. Ah, oh, wonderful, Corinne. If I had skin, it would be goosebumped by now. That's what I like to hear. You're very good at following directions. There are three children in Halloween Town who could learn a lot from you. And I have blanked on their names. Oh, Lock, Shock, and Barrel! <laughs> I just remembered them. What are you planning with the candy skull? Uh... Oh, you'll see. Just not quite yet. I hit him for Scar. <laughs> Vegetable delivery for Jack Skellington. Corinne, I've never been so happy to receive non-pumpkin produce. I'll take it from here for Scar's holiday gift. What are you planning for Scar? Uh, That's a surprise for both you and Scar. Come on, just a hint. <laughs> if you insist. Scar will be receiving a very special form of tribute. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> this new holiday will surprise and delight everyone. You'll see. Goodbye, friends. Lessons free. I don't have everyone's holiday treats yet. Yeah, I gotta talk to Mike and Gaston over there. Hey, pal! Over here! Hey, Corinne! There you go, Mike. Here we go. One rotten carp as requested. Hmm. Let me give it a sniff. Corinne? It's perfect! I'll take your word for it. Oh, you can trust me on this. The key to evaluating whether or not it's ready to use is all down to smell. If it smells fishy, it's not ready yet. When you get to, but when you get top notes of ammonia and that dumpster sweetness, you know it's perfect. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey, we're all beginners at some point, so what's next? Next, we gather the final ingredients for the cologne. We'll need an empty vial to put the cologne in and rich soil for those earthy notes. Once it's ready, we can bring it to Mr. McDuck and see if he wants to stock it for the other villagers. He won't. See you in the funny papers. What is that? Fresh ingredients, just like you asked. But where are the odors? Where are the lumps? This doesn't look anything like what Remy gives me. Maybe I should go talk to him. Good idea. I need to start thinking about my Villager of the Month acceptance speech. Yeesh. Should've worn my sunglasses. Oops, I didn't mean to pick that up. Here's your golden omelet, Gaston. Ha! Ah, now this is a breakfast worthy of me. Now I've been thinking, Corinne. You? Thinking? That's weird. It's boring work, but I'm afraid it must be done on occasion. You see, if you're expecting me to pose heroically, then I'll need a sidekick posing beside me. There were two platforms in that picture he showed me. There's only one sidekick for the job. A new and improved LeFo. A shinier LeFo. Yeah, I see where this is going. I made the last one out of coconuts, but you can make one more fitting. My impressiveness with some precious gems from around the aisle. <laughs> Bronze ingots, bumble stones, Alexandra, spindle, and jade ought to do nicely. Gaston, I hate you. <sighs> of course, you might need some paint to finish it. No problem. Rapunzel told me I could always borrow some from her tower. Yes, me. Fine. Some of these folks could use a Go. Few I really do hate you, Gaston. <sighs> yeah, I still have a dessert. Can I get a little help here? Hey, Corinne. What are we cooking today? Mike asked me for fresh ingredients, but when I brought them, he complained that they weren't like what you make for him. I think I know what went wrong. I always make sure that each of his meals contains some fresh compost. 
Monster palettes seem to prefer a degree of decay. So if I prepare something called a hodgepodge a la Monstropolis, and I already have carrots, corn, and bell peppers, just add some fresh compost to the recipe and you're in business. To each their own, I guess. Exactly. One monster's delicacy is somebody, is somebody else's garbage. If you need some fresh compost, I just put it outside to enrich the soil. It should be near the restaurant. Well, anyway, I can. Use your vegetarian pizza, Milan. Yes. Oh, Corinne, this looks amazing. It's great to be in the valley and try new foods, isn't it? Yep. Hello. It's not oh, grandmother's yeah. kanji, but it's delicious. But trying new foods is great. Uh, I was looking up like a. Some jas Japanese desserts for my uh, Ranger Reject RP, or Go Go Loser Ranger RP book, which you can find on Wattpad. Link in the link in the description. And I found this uh, Japanese cafe near my area. I've been thinking about checking it out. I've been feeling like I'm in a rut lately. I need something different to snap me out of it. Oh. You should eat yours if you get tired during our strength building exercise. Let's get like strong. This. You have a great attitude, Corinne. Today, we're going to work on our strength and focus by mining for minerals. <laughs> Lifting a pickaxe isn't just for your arms. It engages your whole body. Come on. Ah, uh, what? I've got to go. Bye. Hey, what do you know? She gave me that... She gave me the vegetarian pizza back, and I can give that to Ariel. What are the odds, huh? I have so much to tell you. Oh, Corinne, this dessert almost looks almost as good as the ones the staff made for me at the Beast Castle. Oh. What's a special oh. occasion? <laughs> Remy's starting a service in the village for special deliveries. You could order a special dinner, dinner for you and the Beast. That's a wonderful idea. I'll be sure to order something soon. Oh. Now, if only we could get some sort of service like this in the village for books. Thank you very much. Never well, I got your Amazon. Back on me. And I've got iBooks, and I've basically been listening to audiobooks because I'm a college student with textbook burnout. So that'll be audible for that. There you go, Ariel. Hi. I've never seen this before. Corinne, is this a recipe from the human world? One of our finest. Remy is starting a delivery service in the village and wanted me to hand out some free samples to spread the word. We hope you enjoy a little taste of surface dweller food. It's almost a shame to eat it. It looks so beautiful. Thank you, Corinne. I'm really I want to call it vegetarian pizza some of the finest. But it's funny, funny she said, my character said surface dwellers because, well, in Go Go Loser Ranger or Ranger Reject, whatever you want to call it, Um, the monsters that the, the monsters that the dragon keepers, those, that's the ranger team in the anime, are keeping hostage. Okay, Mike. I'm doing this for you, I just know it's gonna be gross. Well, anyway, the monsters, they call them, uh... What are all the ingredients again? Let me check. They call the human surface dwellers. Carrots, corn, and bell peppers. Fresh compost. Carrots. Corn. Bell peppers. <laughs> Ew. Compost, carrots, corn, bell peppers, and a garbage can. Woo! Yeah, this is exactly the type of stuff they ate in All Real Monsters. It was a Nickelodeon show about monsters. I don't remember that much, but I do remember the monsters scared people for uh, 
school assignments, and they ate garbage. Haven't seen that show in a long time. Both my mom and I loved it, though. Because it was, but it was funny. I mean, back in the Nicktoons days, when they were first showing up, I read somewhere that the most popular Nicktoon among the adults was Doug. But that's the one my mom hated. She liked uh, Rugrats, she liked Ariel Monsters, Angry Beavers. She absolutely hated Doug. And she also hated Hey Arnold. My, my. The valley is looking splendid. Here you go, Mike. Good to see you. Thanks, Grin. Mm. It smells delicious, just like home. Now I just need to bring this to Sully and remind him who the real MVP of the village is. After that, I'll finish my acceptance speech. Thanks a million, Grin. I'll be around. Get it? Around? Yeah, Milan's quest is a little too complicated right now. So is Gaston's. Can't believe Gaston's making me work this hard. Uh, oh, I still need to talk to Donald. Wherever he may be. Wait a minute, that was a lyric in that uh, Peter Pan Disney song, Follow the Leader. We're following the leader wherever he may be. I love seeing Peter Pan characters here. So far... The only Peter Pan reference we've had is Skull Rock and that possible crash ship in the in the on Eternity Isle. That might belong to Captain Hook. Overall, I know it could belong to Captain Jack Sparrow. Hey, Pirates of the Caribbean is considered Disney. Let's see those photos. They're pretty good, but they could use a little work. Do you want me to take some more? No, I'll do it myself. I have a much more important mission for you. As my assistant, you're in charge of picking up the rest of the trash. I don't think that's what Sully wants. Yes, it is. Sully told us to do something for the valley and bring proof. That's what I'm doing, and you're helping. Thanks, Corinne. Feels like I'm doing all the work and you're taking all the credit. But... I think you upgraded my shovel. I'm hoping that soon I can So I don't think I should be complaining. And I am totally selling this sand. pick that up because I know Ursula needs it for her villager of the month quest. Oops, wrong thing. Now right thing. I want to know is where all this trash heap got came from. We never used to have trash on Dazzled Beach. Alright, Donald, doing all your chores your chores for you. I saw a trash heap around here. Uh, the last one is always the most difficult one to find. explored the beach fully yet. Wait a minute, 
Skull Rock, of course. Or Pillar Island, whatever you want to call it. There is no trash on Pillar Island. I figured since I'm here, I might as well gather some stuff for Ursula. I bought the empty vials, which some might consider cheating, but I consider it smart planning. I just need to find the last compost heat. Just one more compost heat. How difficult can it be to find trash? I mean, really. Oh! I did not mean to do that. Sorry, Maui. I actually did not want to visit you. I'm gonna have to give up on those hydrangeas. They are too close to Maui's house. Or... Work like a charm. Oh, finally, the eighth compost heat. And Donald has to be all the way over there. Corinne. You left me with the hardest part of the job. That's not true. You just had to pick up some trash while I was getting this photo ready. Donald, did you modify this photo? There was not that much trash on the beach. Um, you noticed that, huh? But I had a good reason. I had to make the trash more noticeable for Soli. Otherwise, it might have looked like I was just hanging out on the beach getting my photo taken. I need to see how this is going to go. With me named Villager of the Month, that's how. Now please bring the photo to Sully, so he can see my project for himself. I don't think Sully's gonna fall for this. Huh? Um, is that Donald posing on the beach with a bunch of digitally added trash? <laughs> Not all the trash was fake. Okay, should I tell him, but... <sighs> but, uh, I'm not a rat, so I'm just gonna say he cleaned up uh -huh. some. Some is better than none, I guess. But this photo makes me feel like he missed the point of Villager of the Month. Ow! Thanks for helping him, Corinne. It's great how you're always there for folks. Oh, duty calls. Talk to yourself. Yeah, he totally missed the point. Let's 
see. Hold on. All right, I still need to do Olaf's quest. Still stuck on Daisy. And you know, I'm going to buy some empty vials, see if Kristoff's still selling them. Kristoff's in a real hell. Oh, luck would have it, Kristoff is still selling them. I love it when I can cheat. Sometimes life's not fair. You'd best remember that. <laughs> All right. Nope. Yeah, I'll worry about Nala later. Olaf, no. Milan's a bit demanding right now. Uh, I'll get the rich soil later. I still need to figure out how to pass that. Olaf's too demanding right now, Jack. I'll worry about you later, Gaston. Alright, I've done every easy thing I need to do in Dreamlight Valley. Now it's just time to go back to Eternity Isle. Yeah, I can't believe the third act of Eternity Isle is already out. I haven't even passed the second act. Alright, I'm gonna have to ignore Ursula for now. But I will be going to E's house. Ooh. Great, as soon as I find out where she is. Something round with holes. sort of power output. And some glassy globes. Oh. oh, those are not glassy globes. that was round with holes. Eve, you are so put on hold. There you go, Eve. accessory. I'm sure it will work. Mm. Woohoo! Time to test your new scanner accessory on this plant. It says it's a dreamlike cobra lily. Plant! You really sound like you want to help this plant. Directive. Okay, let me take a closer look at it. Just to make sure what we're dealing with. With. Oh.
Okay, so I guess I'm following Eve. Glad you're my friend too, Olaf. Everyone here has been wonderful. Alright, yeah, son, I'm getting you a fish. Wow. I wish all my friends could see this fight. Apparently that fish was not what Gaston wanted. It really is very it really is pretty here. All the plants and the flowers and the maze-like structure of it all that you can easily get lost in. But maybe I need to catch something with an orange bubble, not a blue bubble. Stick around a little long, get all the easy stuff done before I end the video. I'll show guests on later. Right now, I need to visit Rapunzel's tower real quick. I don't even know why I opened the fishing hook. <laughs> I thought I saw a chest over there. Guess I was wrong. Talk to Rapunzel real quick. Okay, you're going super slow, magic dust. The shop here stocks my favorite. Hi. Um, would have you, you ever noticed it? how big this place is? So I found these recipes up in your tower. 
Oh, these are the exact recipes Mother used to make. But this one, the tea, requires a special herb she used to grow. Huh. I think she used to get the seeds for it from the promenade. Goodbye. Hi. Oh, hello, Corinne. Got dreamlight. Corinne, I have a really important question for you. Have you ever had bread? You've never had bread before? Hmm. Oh, I have, but only the ones I can make in the tower. And they're kind of heavy. I just had a bagwet with fresh butter at Shea Remy's, oh. and it was, it was life-changing. <gasps> and before that, even I went Yay. dune surfing. She mostly floated along beside me, but it was so thrilling. I can't believe this is my life. Did you yell cowabunga? Huh. Cows a what? Huh? What does that mean? It's something surfers like to yell when they catch a wave. I think that's mostly on water, hmm. though. You can surf on water? I'll add that to my dream list. Which is actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh. Everyone in the valley has been so kind to me. <laughs> helping me realize my dreams. So I was hoping to make some of their dreams come oh. true. Could you help me with that? You know everyone here. Did you have villagers in mind? Well, I know who I want to start with. Could you talk to Remy? He wasn't his usual happy self today. Maybe if we help him achieve a dream, it might cheer him up. Talk to Remy? You've got it. Great. While you do that, I'm going to I'm going to see who else in the village might have a dream we can make come true. I just love talking to you. I'm going to dig up some of Mother Gothel's seeds while I'm in the promenade. Oops. Oh no, I need to make her a fish meal. here. Might as well plant. Nope. Eve's too demanding. Gaston's way too demanding. Merlin, I gotta figure out the other ones first. Hmm. I still gotta figure that quest out. You can wait, Mike. So can you, Mulan. Olaf, you can wait. Talk to Remy. Okay, so let me just talk to Remy and... Talk to Gaston and find that thing for Eve. Hello. Hey, Remy. Rapunzel said you seemed a little down today. Everything okay? Uh -huh. She said that? Oh, this must be about earlier. She was asking about my dreams. I told her I always wanted to open a restaurant, but now I've done that a couple of times and I'm happy, but I've mastered all the recipes in my repertoire. And Merlin doesn't have cookbooks that don't use Eye of Newt or time Aww. travel. Guess I'm kind of missing that cheesy lightning bolt roasted mushroom discovery feeling. Does that make any sense? You need to cook something new. Exactly, but when? <sighs> Remy's in a rut too. Hmm. I have recipes I could try, but I'm running two restaurants in the valley now. Not a lot of time for experimenting. What if I cooked one of the recipes for you? Maybe tasting something new will help you get your inspiration back. Hmm. Well, you are a great cook, Gren. If anyone can help me get, get inspired, I know it's you. Here. <laughs> Take this recipe. I have never made it, but it's pretty interesting. It has nothing to do with butter, and it's spicy, which is always exciting. You got it, chef. Thanks, pal. Uh -huh. I've got to get back to work. Good luck. <laughs> this place is no Paris. But I can work with it. All right, let's read the recipes. I can get this out of my inventory.
Yeah, I'm gonna worry about that later. Talk to Gaston real quick. Look at all these poor unfortunate souls. There you go, Gaston, an electric eel. <laughs> Aren't I the best at fishing? Did you really go fishing? Ah. Of course! Now, like any hunting trip, I'll have a new trophy. <gasps> How do you think you will look on my wall next to the fish I caught? <laughs> it's gonna look like I'm living in a retired old man's house. <sighs> as long as they don't start singing. Do mountain huh? fish do that here? Oh, right! I remember... Why do I remember that? He showed that on Sopranos. The fish that would turn his head and sing to you. And then, uh... Which, which they showed that after... Tony had that dream about one of his mafia... One of his mafia guys being a rat. It, and the mafia guy took the form of a talking fish. And all the other fishes he was with were asleep. It, you know, sleeps with the fishes. It was a really weird dream. Do mounted fish do that here? Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Why not mess with Gaston a bit? Well, if they sing about me, all the better. So do the fishing scratch your itch for adventure? Actually, no. But I did find a piece of a compass while fishing. A piece of a compass? Strange. Yes, I had completely forgotten about it, but the memories are starting to come back. I found a compass ages ago. It had some sort of enchantment on it, and it was leading me to amazing treasures. Sadly for me, the compass has broken apart since I last saw it. No worries. I'll try to find the rest of the compass. Maybe it will lead us to more treasure. <laughs> hey, I give the orders around here. Uh, Gaston, I'm the ruler, not you. Ah. But, yes, do that. Goodbye. All right, I'm gonna put you on hold. I just gotta inspect the dreamlike cobra lily. If I can find it. It's been so long I forgot what that stupid cobra lily looked like. None of this is it. Okay, now I remember where it is. It was right in front of me this whole time. I cannot believe I'm that slow. I mean, I was looking for a plant and... Have you done yet? The slumbering dried plant seems to regain some energy at your approach and tries to bite off your finger. Uh, stay away, stay far away. Please tell me I did not just encounter Dreamlight's version of Audrey 2. Whoa, plant! It almost bit my finger. It must be very hungry. Directive, plant! Uh, if I came across a plant that nearly bit my finger, I would throw it out and run. If we want to bring this dreamlike cobra lily back to its former glory, it needs to be properly fed. Oh, but I'm not sure what it likes. Oh, oh! You have an idea? Directive! Whoa, where'd you get this print out? It's a recipe for gourmet grubs. That's a great idea, thanks. All right, let me read that recipe book. And 
and I'm afraid that my time racing will have to come to an end because I've been here pretty long. I got class coming up and I need to be on time. But tomorrow I will be streaming this on Twitch. I'm going to try and finish Act 2 of A Rift in Time and finish all the friendship quests I'm behind on. Try and catch up for that so I can play that big update coming up. And on and uh, when I stream it on YouTube, I'm going to try and get you far. Assuming I got I get Oswald when I'm in Twitch. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you like this video enough to give it a like. If you want to see further content from me, feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can always stay up to date on what I put out. I'm also on other social medias. I did mention Wattpad earlier. And all of my other social medias are in the description. So feel free to give any one of them a follow. But they don't do shit.